Today we are going to discuss about carbonation of concrete. Carbonation, carbonation of concrete is a very important phenomenon. We should be aware when you discuss about the durability of concrete structures, because uh, carbonation can cause damages to the structure. It can cause the corrosion of the re reinforcement. So let's see how this happens. You know, uh, we have carbonation or the carbonation is, uh, exists in the environment. So when you look at the concrete, in the concrete we have the calcium hydroxide. There are many other materials or material combinations in the concrete. But uh, in this case, uh, we, wo we uh, for this purpose, uh, we only consider about the calcium hydroxide in the concrete. So the calcium hydroxide, as I shown here in this uh, equation here, the calcium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide in the co uh, concrete react with the carbon dioxide. So when it react, it generates calcium carbonate and it releases the water. So this uh, reaction is the our concern. So when this due to this reaction, the pH in the concrete get reduced. So the, in generally, the pH uh, of the concrete in the range of thirteen to th twelve. So in that range, generally we have the uh, pH in the concrete. But with this reaction, the uh, the pH value reduce as eight to nine. So with this reduction, with this reduction, our our concrete become weak material. So the alkalinity uh, in the concrete get reduce or they get loss. So that loss caused the passive layer or the passive protection around the reinforcement damage. So this uh, alkalinity is the one which protects in the reinforcement, act as a passive layer around the reinforcement, but with the reduction of the pH, it is what it is lost. So that create the corrosion of the reinforcement, that lead to corrosion of the reinforcement. It's a correct one. So how this happens now when carbonation fund reaches to the from from the surface when the carbonation fund reaches to the reinforcement as i mentioned previously that the, the carbonation front is the one which carbon di carbon dioxide reacting with the calcium hydroxide so this carbonation front when when this carbonation front reach to the reinforcement so ph reduce so the the environment that can corrode the reinforcement is created so, with the presence of the oxygen and the moisture, the reinforcement corrosion can be started. So, we can't see initially the corrosion because reinforcement is inside or uh, within the cover zones. Once the concrete corrosion started and the rust is formed, then splitting cracks occur. Then and only we can see the corrosion or we can identify the corrosion due to the carbonation. So spalling and all that will continue. Then, then we need, we we can see and we can observe and also to corrode. But it is too late. So therefore, we have to be aware about this. How do we identify the carbonation of the reinforcement? So when you do the test, or when you do the covering or any other concrete sample, we can use pinoptaline for checking the concrete carbonation so you apply pinoptaline in the concrete so if the color get pink if the color get pink so concrete is not carbonate but if the color is unchanged or the same as it means the concrete get carbonated so what are the factors that affect to the carbonation of the concrete so the major factors or key factors that we discuss mainly are the permeability. So if concrete is permeable, that is means that pore structure is weak. So the oxygen and the moisture can easily penetrate through the reinforcement, then your carbonation fund reach to the reinforcement, so the corrosion environment is created. So it start corroding the reinforcement. Curing. So cover zone. So if your cover zone weak or if your cover zone has a lesser grade of the concrete, due to the evaporation of the water during the hydration process so this can also create a weaker concrete then then that case also concrete can uh, in that case also it will help carbonation fund to reach to the reinforcement again the carbon dioxide level so if we have a 
higher carbon dioxide level it will uh, i mean speed up the penetration of the carbonation front into the concrete then the real humidity again it's also important factor because if you have higher humidity that means that you have higher 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 moisture content in the environment so that can lead to corrosion of the reinforcement because corrosion and for corrosion we need oxygen and moisture so all those th those are the things that i want to discuss under the carbonation of the concrete so as discussed today and you know now if the carbonation happens or carbonation front continues to the reinforcement it damage the passive layer around the reinforcement then it can lead to corrosion of the reinforcement with the presence of the oxygen and the moisture so with that i am going to end today's uh, short video thank you very much for watching our videos